If you can solve a two-step equation, you can solve a two-step inequality. They are the same. So if we start with negative 6y plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. We solve it like an equation. So that's, we're going to solve like equation. You, you learned one step last year. So I'm going to solve it like an equation, and when I solve equations, we do PEMDAS backwards. Backwards, which means my first step is adding and subtracting. Do you see any adding or subtracting? What? Plus three. Plus three. So this is my first step. What is the opposite of add? So I'm going to subtract three from both sides. And there's your break right there. So this cancels. I've got negative 6y. And what's 0 minus 3? Okay. Second step. This is where things change. Every You still solve it the same. But now I'm looking for multiply divide. Do you see anything that's multiplied or divided? Yes. What? What, not just 6, but what? Negative 6. If it's a negative, if you multiply or divide by a negative on both sides, underline both, You flip your inequality. So when I solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by what? Negative 6. Am I dividing both sides by a negative? Yes. yes. So what was a greater than? It turns into a less than or equal to, and this is one half, because 3 divided by 6 is 0. 0.5, and it's positive because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Now, that's only part of it. The second half, go ahead. We have to graph it because an inequality has infinite answers. The middle one, I always make my answer. So that's one half. What is one? What is the next number up on a number line? One. one. And what's one number down? Zero. Zero. So this is one up. What did I say? This is higher. And this is one step lower. When I was in seventh grade, I had a hard time remembering things, so I always came up with tricks. If it's this sign or this sign, it's an open circle. Open circle. Yes. If it has the extra line at the bottom, then it's a closed circle. I always remembered it because this one took more ink. It has more lines, so it gets more ink, more shading. Whatever helps you remember. 
So this one is a less than or equal to. So I close the circle. Now when I shade it, I'm dealing with y is less than or equal to 1 half. So y is less than or equal to 1 half. I take this number and I plug it in for y. Is 0 less than or equal to 1 half? Yes. It is. Is 1 no. less than or equal to 1 half? No. no. I shade towards the one that makes it true. 0 is less than or equal to 1 half. So I shade this way. 